The Budget Bike Battle of Britain, sponsored by Oxford. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you I'm, ready? I'm ready, finally. Welcome to Budget Bike Battle 5. I appreciate it's been so long in the making this, but we're raring to go. We now have the wonderful addition of uh, our good friend Boothy. Um, so he's going to run us through some bits on his bike in a moment and the new additions. Um, but yeah, we're sorry it's been so long, but we're ready to go now. So let's do it. Welcome to Budget Bike Battle of Britain. At the time of filming, travel was restricted, as was the top speed of our steeds, so we chose to remain in the south of England. And where better to start the budget bike battle of Britain than the capital, the cesspit that nine million people call home, London. Navigating through the absolute boulangerie of traffic jams and Uber Eats drivers, the plan was to head south and do the London to Brighton run for a night of wild camping. Ideally up for an early start in order to make the ferry from Portsmouth to the Isle of Wight for some Holiday Park family frolics. Then we'd hop back onto the mainland via Lymington and explore the delights of the New Forest and beyond to the Jurassic Coast. All being well, our final destination would be the Clay Pigeon International Car Track for a showdown of speed and agility. Let battle commence. So Come on then, uh, come on then, Boothie. Let us. We, I mean, we are uh, literally staggered by its magnificence. It's, it is magnificent. It, I like to call it the Chariots of Fire. Uh, it is a, a Piaggio nippy, and I bought this because it for is. How much? For how much? Yeah. It was eleven hundred pounds. That is steep. It was, but it did come with a, an MOT. Which oh, I'm not sure was I'm not sure was a valid MOT, but it did have an MOT, um, and, I, and I bought this because at the time, um, some of you might remember I I quite quite badly broke my leg about a year ago, and I didn't know how long it was going to be before I could get on a proper bike. So I thought something with a bit of wheelchair access would be uh, would be quite handy. As it turns out, the legs are all right, but I still think it's worth having because. On a, on a trip like this where we're going camping, I mean, look at all this equipment that yeah, we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all strapped to your to your bikes, and there's the or in your side car. There's there's yeah. the potential to, for a lot of stuff to fall off, and it, and everybody loves it. So, right. Well, thank you for that introduction. My pleasure. Now, this is where the action really starts. So, if you want to come over here, Ben. So, obviously, you, we've seen the C1 before, but now, behold, come and look at this sticker. The Sea Wonder. Did you see what I did there? Yeah. Stevie oh, Wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll so take you all night to think of that. Uh, no, it came pretty quickly, but designing the logo, making it look, you know, pretty good. Anyway, whatever. I digress. So obviously, we're aware of what the bike is. We've we've done a video on this before. Um, this time round, I've got some additions. So I've got a uh, warning beacon on the top, just to alert of any safety issues when these guys break down, which they will. Um, I have a PA system, which is, is quite loud. I don't want to annoy everyone. Sorry. Uh, got a PA system. We've also got some LED light strips for just looking cool, really. And all of this is run, if you just come around here, Ben, from my panel of switches, which actually, we have a leisure battery in the back, which my mate Arthur fitted. Uh, so it doesn't drain any of the power from the actual motorcycle, because it is a motorcycle, it's not a, like a three wheel thing like these. Uh, and I've got an array of USB charging devices and a gimbal cup holder. Oh, and for packing, I've got, we don't know what the weather's gonna be like, I think it's gonna be quite nice actually. But I've got all my dry stuff that I want to keep nice and water and, and dry up here in an in a Oxford roll bag. So this is away from the rain. It's got my pillows, sleeping bag, stuff like that in it. Down here, I have also a waterproof pannier set from Oxford, which has the camping gear uh, with kettles, uh, microwaves, all that sort of stuff rammed in there. So, and of course, plenty of junk in the trunk. Welcome back to the Piaggio X9 250. Now, this is a very limited edition work of art and it's a future classic now the sidecar alone this square sidecar alone is worth two thousand pounds so i mean i'm quitting already so uh, but yeah the piaggio x9 itself it ran all right we had a few issues uh the water pump two days before we were due to leave the water pump uh seal failed we've ordered four different kits 
and none of them fitted. So James had to work his magic and finger some holes in a few bits and pieces. But we're here now and uh, I'm ready to roll. I haven't spent, <laughs> once again, I haven't rogered a bike for the sake of it. I've just left it as standard and it's a sidecar. Look, we're going camping. So all the stuff and most of their stuff I can fit in my sidecar. So I am definitely on to a winner here. So right now we are outside Jimmy Fetter's gaff. This is nowhere special in North London, Islington. We just had a cracking brekkie in there, cracking brekkie. Um, it is actually called nowhere special. Yes. He's not saying, oh, we're well, nowhere special. No. That's, yeah. Is and it's, which is quite, it's nowhere like, as in no, K-N-O-W. Special. Yeah. Um, and from here, we are going to do the London to Brighton. We're going to take in some tourist spots because we're on holiday right now, exactly. aren't we, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is oh, a budget yeah. bike battle, but this is for the bros, right? It's been so long in the making. It's been a terrible couple of years. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. The Budget Bike Battle of Britain. Sponsored by Oxford. Oh, she's running a bit. Oh. She's running. Oh. <laughs> right then. Way. Way up there. Oh, what a lovely day. Oh, fucking hell, you're going to miss the fucking oh, lights for fuck's sake. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering why I've got a bit of um, paper coffee cup taped to my face, she was having problems with the microphone yesterday. So, that, that's, that'll hopefully explain that. Does it, does it look really stupid? Yeah. What a lovely day. What a beautiful day to explore London town. Is it your first time in London, Booty? It's not my first time in London, but it's my first time in London on in, in any any form of vehicle, so I've never driven in London or ridden in London before, so it's it's going to be a new experience. Do you know where we're going? I haven't got no. a clue. Well, you do. I don't fucking know. Oh. Here's an interesting point, just as we set off. We're in the ULES. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. So, both Alan, what, well, Alan Boothie's collective bill for driving in here yesterday and leaving today it was what, Al? 88 pounds. 88 pounds. 88 pounds to go through, that's ULES. Because it's ULES, you need to do congestion. Anyway, it was uh, pricey. But the Sea Wonder, absolutely free. Doing? Why are you ramming the bikes? <laughs> Only just started. <laughs> Why are you ramming my bike? Yeah. What's... Whoa! Fuck you, mate. <laughs> Children. I am a suave, elite, cosmopolitan German man. Look at all these grand buildings. You don't get buildings like that where I'm from. Oh. Is it hit? What's it going on there? Yeah, bit of oh, ramming going on there. Is it him? Gotta love London. What a shithole. The, uh, the C1 is feeling nimble, lithe. I can filter, we can get on, we can go. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that um, with a full load of cargo, this is extremely dangerous. Uh, yesterday we didn't get it on camera, but I nearly died yesterday. Um, I actually hit a central reservation coming off the roundabout because it tanked slapping its arse off so violently. And um, I was just a passenger, literally, so... Um, Sounds like you've got a good safe bike there, mate. Well, in fact, I say it's a bike. It's not really a bike, is it? In fact, I'm the only one that has st stuck true to the fact that it's a budget bike battle or the budget trike battle. And needless to say, in true budget bike battle form, we got absolutely gazebo oh, last night. That was an error, a, a, a fatal, horrible, it was your horrible idea. error. Yeah, it was your idea, Chris. No, fuck, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't. I wanted to go to bed. All right, cheers, mate. See you later, here. Yeah. Right, well, I'm sorry, I'm just too efficient. Yeah, cheers, Chris. What, well, mate, just hurry up. At the next traffic light, I'll leave space in front of me and you can just drop and you can okay. just filter and come, come just... in me. Oh, I've done it. The bus lane, fuck up. Oh, we've done them, we've done them. Oh. 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 I can just hear Boothie's two-stroke. Oh. 
trimming through the high streets. <laughs> <laughs> I do quite like the amount of looks we're getting. You look like um, a Middle Eastern taxi driver. Oh. So fucking hell, baby. <laughs> 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 they come flying up, don't they? <laughs> They're called bicycles, Boozy. There's no need to go as fast as that. <laughs> the Sea Wonder is this. This is its. This is at home here. This is the urban environment for this. The future of motorcycling, which is what this machine is. I mean, it's a bit top heavy. But actually, the low down weight has kind of stabilised it a little bit. It looks bloody downright dangerous. It looks very top heavy, heavy from yeah. where I'm sitting. Imagine spending this car in front probably a quarter of a million pounds and going slower than a shit 900 pound scooter. No, but with all the money you spent on it afterwards, it's good. Another right. 800 quid. I've spent probably 100 quid. You have to include the stuff that you got free as well. Why? Because that's what I've done in... We've all done in previous Budget Bike Battles. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. We haven't. We have. Mate, you're just scrabbling round because your bike's shit. How much did you spend on yours? Anything? Uh, well, in total, probably... Bits and bobs. 30 quid, 35 quid. But I didn't spend a lot of money on mine, but I spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> go on, loads of room, mate. Keep going. I don't really care, am I right? I just didn't want this £250,000 car to hit my dream machine. I don't think you I mean, just because my friend wanted to wrap it, I don't think that's, you can't charge. Oh, it's a 500 quid wrap, isn't it? Well, it's ridiculous to even suggest that, because if that was the case, then I wouldn't have got it done, obviously, would I? But, I'm I'd sorry, have got I a think, roller I think, out. I think, from, you know You're just jealous, well. mate. You're no, just jealous. I want the Sea Wonder. Sorry, yeah. the, Stevie, the Stevie Wonder. The Sea Wonder. Yeah, to see about as much wonder as Stevie did. Yeah. By the way, I don't think you can say that, by the way. Look at all these people, haven't they got homes to go to? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to our first campsite. So yeah, we're off to uh, Brighton now. We're gonna go and see some lovely sights of London, do the touristy thing, and um, then we're gonna head on down south to the coast and set up our tents. Uh, home of my stag do five years ago. Was that five years ago? Yeah. Are you joking? No, I'm not. Fuck. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, you should go and watch it. Yeah, it got demonetised and um, uh, 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 age restricted because of the blow up doll. And probably to be fair, all the, I mean, the, you know, blowing coke up your ass with the compressor and things like that. Yeah. Why have you turned your bike off, Al? overheated. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you turned your bike off, baby? Because I, I, I don't like the sound of it. I like the peace and quiet. Come on, mate, you get a bus through there. I really want a filter. But I've got to stay with the team. Why haven't you turned your bike off, Chris? Because it's running perfectly. In fact, I'll flick the isolation switch on, which means I'm charging now my leisure battery. Oh, I see. Which runs my hideous amount of electronics. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I might uh, Yeah you go. Go on. No. Go on. No. Go on. No, it was a fucking pedestrian, you can't shut up. Fucking hell. Fucking I'm not just run her over. This trap right, there we go, right. You're clear boys, you're clear. <laughs> What is this thing? This fella's got. Oh. oh, I can't fit through there. No. Oh! Are you fucking. Right. <laughs> Al, did uh, Boothie tell you about our joint toilet experience? Good. Well, <laughs> did you block it? Did you re block you it? You blocked it. Oh, did you block it again? Yes. <laughs> this is just insanity. It is insanity. What a load of shit. Booty doing his bit for the environment, uh, smoking out London. Well no, well, no wonder you had to pay 80 quid for the ULES. Oh, what?
back to Canada. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? <laughs> why is, why is, why is this fucking handlebars off? <laughs> there was something wrong with it. <laughs> what's happening? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, that fucking scary. Oh, it's at a I think it's at a certain speed. <laughs> <laughs> See what, love? I've, I don't know, mate. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he was saying. He's saying, fuck off, you northerner. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know if I need to stop and just check this is alright, because... What, what, what do you think it is? I don't know, I don't know if like some, like a, a fucking wheels come loose or something or... Well, it's just not like a Put it in here mate, speed. put it, put it in here. <laughs> I don't know if my fucking front wheel's about to fall out or something. There's a bit of play in it, but I can't remember if there was play in it before. I mean, you need some air in your tyres for a start. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to pump my tyres up. Oh, fuck knows. It's only doing it at a certain speed. I think we're going to be all right. I just need to avoid... I'll just put my warning beacon on. Yeah. I need to, I need to avoid a constant throttle at about... Um, I don't know, maybe like 20 miles an hour. Well, what do we, what, what's that? Two miles and boo, these wheels fallen off. Hasn't fallen off yet. We're Look okay. Look at this shithole. Come to London. Fuck you know. I'm getting hot. It's because I'm so fucking sexy in this machine. You look like a Euro pop, like, courier. Yeah, Valentino Rossi, yeah? Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> this traffic is just ridiculous. What, the traffic? Yes. <laughs> well, you guys are paying 88 quid for the privilege. <laughs> I love it in here, though. I feel sort of cocooned, safe. I wish I had a backrest. I don't think you do. Is it, are they overrated? Mate, I can't, like, I'm just stuck in one position. I can't lean back. Oh, Bishop Muzarewa. <laughs> Moira Stewart. <laughs> Zaina Badawi. I'll put my gloves in the glove holder. I don't need a glove holder, I've just got everything around me. It's just all one holder. Whoa! Whoa! Fuck's sake, I can't wait to get out of this place now. Y you're not a London fan, Chris, by the sounds of it. I just... The whole thing's just fucking shit. It's been overrated. Ah! Fucking what? hell! I don't know, someone beeped at it. It scared the <laughs> shit out of me. They're laughing at you, really. I, no, I think they're laughing at you, mate. They're definitely laughing at you. So I'm just waiting for the guys because they got stuck at another traffic light. Um, because their bikes are too shit. Barry Trotter. So now I've got the warning beacon on. And I'm just waiting. Oh, Harry Potter there. Here we yeah. go. Fucking hell. Beacon off. So we're just approaching Trafalgar Square. Oh, Trafalgar wow. Square. And uh, that's going to be on the right. This is the National Portrait Gallery. I think it's the National Portrait Gallery or just National Gallery on the right here. Um, and we're about to see some marvellous erections such as Nelson's Column. Marvellous erection. Once we've whizzed through Trafalgar Square, we're going to go off straight down the Mall to see the Queen. Splendiferous budget bike battle of Britain bikes. Uh, do you reckon Liz is in? Liz. Oh, could go knock on and see if she was coming out for a ride. Stick yeah. her in the uh, <laughs> Get in stick the sidecar. Yeah. Stick her in the car, yeah. Here, that's Nelson's column there, look. Uh, oh. It's big, isn't it? It is pretty big, actually. He's done well for himself as old Nelly. Oh, boy. Oh, not again. So I, oh, I can't stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes aren't really good on Maybe, this. But that's probably why your fucking wheel's <laughs> <Yeah>. broken. <laughs> 
Yeah, if you stop driving into uh, Al, you might your wheel might. Yeah, stop fix being such itself. an idiot, Booty. Look at this! Oh God. wow! Oh, look at this! This is quite <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is it, guys, isn't it? This is it. This, this is what it's all about. We should. This is where um, I feel like running the London Marathon. Is where they start, isn't it? Suck it up, boys. This is it. Quintessential London. Oh wow. I mean, I feel. I feel great. I feel proud to be British. It's not ganja. But yeah, massive ganja. Maybe it's maybe it's Liz. It's, it's Liz. It's Liz. Yeah. How do you think she's got so old? <laughs> Did you? Oh, fuck off. You making friends with the locals, guys? Wow. Hey, there's the London Eye. There's the London Eye. All the sights. Wow, there's a fair few boats in there, isn't they? The amount of speeding tickets they must have got now, because everything's 20 miles an hour, it's just fucking ridiculous. 20 is just ridiculous. Yeah. 20 even feels slow on these things, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh. FWR up here, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there it is. The next destination is Stud Farm Camping, which is kind of not, well, it's not wild camping, but it is on a farm and uh, it is quite wild. Half a pound of treacle, that's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. We missed the lights. You missed the lights? Are you joking? No, it went red. Fucking hell, okay. Fuck me. <laughs> Have some of that. Yeah, yeah. What's that? I think you might I think you might have just dropped some off your off your bike out. What? What what colour is your wallet? Is it white? White? No. I think someone's just dropped off your bike. I'm just gonna spin round and have a look. Alright, okay. Oh you finally Fuck. decided to turn up, did you? Yeah. What is it, Booty? I don't know, so I've, I've got trapped at these lights now, but some are, uh. you either ran over something or some are, you dropped something. Uh, I've seen it, it was a. Uh, it, it was a paper cup. Jesus. It's got a really good turning circle, this thing. It looks like it. Yeah, it's handy. It's nippy. Ooh. There's another bus. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm not, it's not going to let me through. Hi, right, dude. We're filming for a YouTube channel. 5014. Uh, What's your favourite thing about your bike at the moment, Al? Um, the favourite thing about my bike at the moment is um, the fact that I... It's, it's with my storage, my storage solutions, as simple as that. It's a, it's a utilitarian weapon. Boothie, what are you enjoying about your bike at the moment? The fact that it stopped falling apart? Yeah. The, uh, the the bonus of a bike like this when you're riding through a city is um, all the traffic lights that we're stopping at. You uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to put your foot down. You can just sit here and relax in serenity. Whereas on a normal bike or a, oh, uh, a machine like yours... Oh, oh well, that's a bit too narrow. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, you've got to put your foot down. I mean, at the moment, this bike, obviously, it's an actual bike, so it's just the way it can... Like, the speed difference, forget performance, just the fact that you can fit through gaps in an environment like that is worth hours, isn't it, really? Well, yeah, if you live in London. 
Okay, but we've just driven through London. <laughs> God. That's why, that's why I made the point. I, I know you really like your um, you see wonder, Chris, but uh, are there any... Breaking. Uh, oh, work. Are there any shortcomings that you found as yet? Uh, yes. Yeah, the... Um, the top heaviness is pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't it, it doesn't like corners. It is a little bit frustrating not being able to filter. Yeah, terrifically shit. Right, so we're going to um, just wind, up, wind our way out of this sort of suburban nightmare that we're in at the moment. And um, once we get to some nicer roads, we'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. 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 The other guys can't hear me now, but I've won. They're fucking losers. And I tell you what, Al really smells. He smells of vagina. Which is weird, because he never gets it. The Budget Bike Battle of Britain. Sponsored by Oxford. We are still in suburban hell. It's not very nice being at the back here. I've got fumes. I've got ugly things to look at. And um, I just can't wait to get out. Get some, get some air, get some speed under the beast. Look at the state of that. Ah! It absolutely hogs. Anyway, uh, I'm getting really tired now. I, I don't know how long we've... It feels like we've just been in this perpetual shitness. Although there is more greenery here now. We might be actually be getting to the end of it. I fucking hope so, because we've been through the arsehole of London. Anyway, we'll update you soon. We're going to stop some petrol at the servo in a minute. Now you're dropping diesel on the floor, mate. What's this <laughs> doing? He's just, he's just taking four spaces, is he? Oh, you're actually going there, are you? Yeah. Alright, well you've taken four spaces, so I don't know which one you wanted to go for. This is a fucking nightmare. Well, ladies and gents, you join us. Uh, we are exiting, well, just past the M25, out of Godston. So we're taking a bit of a B road diversion and try and glam it up a bit, because the, uh, oh, fuck, particularly Broody, he's got a top speed of 50 miles an hour, so, like, and that's stretching it. I'm actually quite enjoying this now, I'm just cruising along. I'm so glad to be out of London. So glad. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, this is really nice, actually, isn't it? Archetypal British countryside. On shit bikes. Well, you're the shit. My bike. <laughs> I, I think the viewers will decide that that is not the case. I reckon jizz is one of them one of them liquids like custard where if you run over it fast enough, you know, like when they when they do that on a on hang a on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. When have you when the fuck have you ever run over custard? No, you must have seen it on telly. Yeah. You fill a swimming pool with custard. If right. you run over it, if you hit it hard enough, you'll, you can run on custard. People run over slow. custard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just um, had a little sip of my. Well, I finished my Coca Cola in my gimbal cup holder. It's actually a fantastic addition to the uh, Sea Wonder. Oh, you've got a streamer. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, fuck. Did you have something <laughs> strapped on top of there, Al? Oh, shit. Oh, it's, uh, it's there. Fine. <laughs> From here, you look like one of the, you know, them like tiny mini diggers, them little little, little tiny ones that you can drive through doors. <laughs> it looks like you're looks well, like, like a Gatwick <laughs> Airport that delivered oh, <laughs> disabled people to their aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you see me from there? Yeah. Like, you, only, yeah, just yeah. Where the fuck are you? Well, you'll see us. Look, I'll flash my lights. Fucking hell. Where? I don't understand where you are. <laughs> We're like directly, <laughs> directly behind you, just after the roundabout. Still, I'm just yeah, doing well, the strap up, mate. Jesus Christ! Oh, right, okay. All right. Well, I can't, I'm sorry, you fucking. <laughs> I don't have visual <laughs> eye contact on you. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I thought you were just waiting at the roundabout, like a. <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> fucking hell! You're such an eggy little. <laughs> Can you had that argument with that truck driver in that petrol station? <laughs> okay. Let's rock. Does that count as a breakdown? No. in my C1. It's the best. So when did Fiat 500s get so fucking big? That's a Fiat 500 plus, I think you find. Okay. 
It's still a Fiat fucking 500, isn't it? <laughs> For fuck's sake, you're such you a patronizing. You are an idiot. Fuck me, are you? You're Jesus. just fucking, you're anyone, just. Anyone think you got pissed up last night? Shit in the road. Done Bob Ross, mate. On your tricycles. Get a knob. You know, some people can like, are all right with shit, like plumbers and people that own dogs. Plumbers <laughs> and people that own dogs. <laughs> they don't mind shit, they can pick it up, they can plumb toilets in and, but I, I just think it's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Power, agility, flickability, practicality. That's the Pierre GOX9. We're all going on a summer, summer holiday. I don't think you've realised the width of your uh, wagon yet, Booty, have you? <laughs> no, it's like, you know, when you go go-karting and the back's a bit wider than the front and you spend the first yeah. the first three laps rubbing it on all the fucking tyre walls. It's a bit like that. Oh, this is beautiful, boys. This is beautiful. We're off. Cr full throttle. I'm, I'm at terminal velocity. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Mate, this is terrifying and we're still going well below the speed limit. <laughs> Flat out, come on baby! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> You're glad! It's a glove, it's a glove, shit! <laughs> 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 For the Saudi dashboard. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> look at that, look at that thing. Ooh. Ooh, you bastard. <laughs> just uh, just cruise past, just keep going, cruise past and just sort of... Uh, oh, 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 fuck. It's like hand the baton over. Just go. Yes. Right, keep going, I'll catch you. Okay. <laughs> hey, the Nikon there, look, see that? See, oh. three wheels, a Nikon, the Yamaha Nikon, three wheels is the way forward. Left. 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 Yeah. Oh, shit. See, the only poppers looking at us. Yeah, they was. They, they waved. They, they waved, waved and smiled. They waved and smiled. But Probably because they heard up. the fucking siren. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this is quite a nice part of the world. It is nice, yeah. Well presented to, bushes. Exactly, to, to trim your bush to that level just for public enjoyment. Yeah. So people, the public can enjoy your bush. Well, I think everyone should look after their bushes like that. I, I do as well. Oh, well, no, I reckon rip them off. No bushes. Tap. Rip, like it off. Bushes. Bam, like rip it off. Rip it off and tarmac it. We've got 16 miles to go now, um, so we're just going to cruise in and uh, we'll. We'll update you when we get to the campsite. Hopefully we'll make check-in deadlines and uh, we'll go and collect our sausages and organic lamb burgers. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you at the campsite. What the bloody hell's going on here? Oh, it's a nature reserve. You all right? You all right, buddy? Hey, we're on holiday. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at this, boys. Look whoa, at whoa, this. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Shit sticks up! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stud farm campsite! Stud farm camping! Yay! Straight on! Okay, left we go. Oh, right, okay. Oh, God. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Oh, jeez! <laughs> I almost dropped it. Oh my word, wow. Here we go. Look at this. Can we get a hotel? The Budget Bike Battle of Britain. Sponsored by Oxford. Let's go camping! Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm 
absolutely amazed that Boothie's bike made it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why, why he dealt with it. Because it's a two straight, mate. Yeah, yeah, I mean. And it's the smoke that's pouring out of it, the noises it makes, the fact that all the wheels are all fucking pointing in different directions. And a time or two, it did feel like it was going to snap in half. Yeah. But it didn't, did it? No. It's a, but I'm, no, it's brilliant. I'm, I'm super glappy. Uh, super glappy. Super happy it's here. And long may it continue. So, the uh, Kanak uh, Safari Chef 2 Pro QR. We've got our meat. Uh, the lovely lady got our meat. Some sausages. Ooh, what's those? Proper farm sausages. And we've got some lamb burglars. Yum it. This is wild camping. <laughs> yeah. Now the fun bit of uh, erecting. Trying, trying to put the tents up. I'm erected, done. Um, I chose the very simple option of having a, it's, it literally is, it says two seconds easy. It is two seconds and even a numpty like me can put it up and erect, ready to go. The booty's gone for the budget option. Um, forgot his 10 pegs though, minus points for that. Meanwhile. Fuck off. <laughs> Preparation is, is, is key. Um, Chris has gone for the executive op. This is like a 600 quid tent, it's really nice, but um, we could wait. It, apparently, it's got a lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I've never put this tent up before, so you know, give me some creds. Oh, you saw it. <laughs> yeah, some of that. Some of that in your bloody shit fucking tent. <laughs> Steve, that only fucking lobby. <laughs> Uh, but then I don't know how this bit works. Something's going on, not quite clear. <laughs> right, so this is a clever piece of engineering. You're going to like this. This is my air mattress. So you open the bag that it comes in. Oh, if I can get it through my wrist that I've absolutely broken coming in through there. Rogered. Absolutely bloody. <sighs> Rogered it. So that's the mattress. It's not self-inflating. And this is the clever bit, because this is the bag, and it's like, what's that? But then you catch air in it, like that. That's a pillow. No. It's a fucking, it's a pump. And then you put that. That's, that's going to take you a while, isn't it? No. No? no. Two bags? No. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Shit off. Shit off! <laughs> What? That is cool. That's pretty clever. Don't forget to check out Camping World for all your camping needs. Link in description. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, I think I've, um, I think I've, oh, fuck, I think I've built the oven. Fucking hell, I've broken something out. Oh, any wrist? Yeah. Tank slapper. Have we got some passes? Passes? Some passes, passes see some all. I've got some passes, do you want some passes? Uh, I've got some, I'll get some in a minute. Right. Have we got an igniter? It's got a clicker. All right. Honestly guys, we are like wild men here. We're like the best. I know. Absolutely. Open it right up. Open it, open it right up. Right. Right up. Oh, oh, oh for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> what the hell are those? These? Yeah. My crocs. I've always wanted a uh, pair. Jen bought them for me, reluctantly. And and you can get these little, but uh, that's a penis emoji. And they just pop in to the crock holes. What? Uh, I don't think we can talk anymore, mate. What? I don't know why everyone has such a problem with them. What's wrong with them? If you get up in the, if you get up in the middle of the night and you need a piss, we just walk bare feet, or you're gonna put a laced shoe on. 
Just fucking slip these bad boys on, piss away. Doesn't even matter if you piss on them. Well, it does, because you piss through the holes and get it all over your feet. So? What does they say? They say the, the holes are there for your dignity to escape. I don't have any dignity left anyway. I don't see the problem with them. I just figured out how to get into this bloody thing. Because it's tall then. Well, it's not really much tall. I mean, we've got... Oh, so we've no, the got, lobby, yeah. The lobby, yeah. So we, we can put, and then we've got a lot of area for a storage for a drying yeah. stuff, and then, you know, just into the main main event. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bloody campus, yeah? Cool. Made, well, not home, farm made lamb burgers. <laughs> burgers. That sound. Oh, my God. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, do we not have any bread or like seasoning or anything? It's just, just meat. Yeah. Meat on a plate. Yeah. That's our dinner. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have a Big Mac meal. What are we have Michael. I think I'm going to have a, uh, a triple cheeseburger and a chicken mayo. Oh, I'm gonna get a triple cheeseburger, fries, and and mozzarella dippers. Mozzie dippers. Mozzie dippers. Bend over and let's have a look at your mozzie dippers. Hi, can I take order? Hi, can I get a uh, medium Big Mac meal, please, with no cheese though? Next window, please. We're like a biker gang, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we are as well. Just really yeah. hard. Put the old disco on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your, your, your flashing beacon isn't on though. No, but we're not in a dangerous situation. No, no, you, yeah, well, we yeah, are. you're right, yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, the noise. I know it's embarrassing. That's what I'm saying. It's embarrassing. Sorry, oh. is, that, is, that, is that better? Hi, mate. Cheers. Do you have any curry sauce as well? Curry sauce. Curry sauce, please, yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, shit. Can you, can you manage it? Where are we going? I just want to show the viewers just how sexual this looks at night time in front of the golden arches. Oh yeah. And got a light in the boot. With the Macca's come down, we huddled around the campfire and regaled heroic stories of bullshit, ready for another day in the saddle. The Budget Bike Battle of Britain, sponsored by Oxford. So the disgustingness. Yeah. Coming up in the next episode of Budget Bike Battle of Britain. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> Feel part of the BBB action with this limited edition Battle of Britain decal, available in the merch store now. <laughs>